What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back to Stoneyard Griddle. Today, we're gonna make three different types of paninis. The first one is going to be a caprese salad panini. The second one is gonna be a ham and Swiss panini. And the third one is gonna be a steak and blue cheese panini. Stick around, let's get cooking. Okay, so what we got here is we have our press heating up. This burner is on high. These three burners are on low. I'm gonna crank these two middle ones up to medium just so we get a nice crisp on our bread. And uh, let's fire it off. This one's gonna go quick, so pay attention, right? You got your notepad, pay attention. Oil. Spread it out, pretty thin. Red, get all that oil on there. Let that sit for about a minute, minute and a half. All right, about a minute. Take a look at our bread. Toasting up. I like it so far. So let's get putting our stuff on there. Mozzarella. We're gonna go pepper, some nice coarse salt, tomatoes of course, nice big meaty tomatoes, and let's get some basil on here. I do want these all to kind of melt together. So we're going to dome them, flash them real quick with some water. 10 seconds or so, it doesn't take long. All right, you can see them starting to sweat a little bit, that's good. And now what we're going to do is grab our burger press. Push down nice and firm. Don't like crush it or anything, but give it a nice firm push. 10, 20 seconds or so. All right, now let's carefully lift off. Now we go our heat. We're all off, and we'll see you over at the cutting board for plating. All right, so there we go. There's our caprese salad panini. I'm just gonna cut into it. Looks pretty good. What I like to do, just hit it with a little bit of balsamic vinaigrette dressing. Gonna drizzle that all over it. Adds a little bit of tang to it. And there you go. There's the first of three paninis, Caprizi salad panini. Alrighty, round two. Ham and Swiss. First thing we're gonna do is I've got my bread and I've spread garlic paste on one side of it. So to toast up this bread, it's the same bread, you can use whatever bread you want. But for this bread, we're gonna get some butter down, spread it out, just a little bit, doesn't need a ton. Garlic paste side down first. Let that go for about a minute. So now this whole time, our burger press has been over here, staying nice and hot for when we press. Already, give them a flip. We just want a little bit of toast on here, which is what we got. Now what we're gonna do, Swiss cheese. Right here. Goodly amount 
amount of cheese. And we're gonna go straight on with our ham. Really stack it on there good. Got plenty of meat. Pretty simple sandwich, so you gotta load it up. Now what we'll do, take our honey Dijon, or excuse me, just Dijon mustard. Put your Dijon on top of ham about that much or however much you want we don't judge Oop. flip it on over here there we go she's got away from us a little bit there we go perfect see and now we're gonna give her a press same deal as last time 10 20 seconds or so all right flipped up Go. Give her a flip. Boom. There we go. Leave her for another, I don't know, 10, 20 seconds. There we are. Let's kill all of our heat. I'm going to bring you on over there to plate up. So there we are with this one, ham and Swiss with uh, garlic paste bread. Give this a cut, get a little cross section up here, nice and easy, looks pretty good. So that's number two, see you on number three. All right, let's round it off with round three. Let's go, this is gonna be a black and blue cut steak onion, blue cheese, American cheese, panini. Let's hit it. First down, this is Whirl. This is just butter flavored oil. I like using it. I think it tastes awesome. We're gonna put down uh, about a three finger grab of onion. That may be a little too much, but that's okay. I'd rather have too much than not enough. Get these all tossed up and ready to go. Make sure everyone's touching. Let them cook up, cook up for a little bit. And we'll be right back. All right, let's check these things out. We want a little bit of snap to them so that they're not all mushy in this sandwich. But in this case, this burner is all the way up because I want some heat to get into our press. These burners are all on low. I'm actually going to turn this one completely off. This will just be like our warming spot. Okay, now. More whirl. And we are going to get our bread going. So that's all done and prepared. I'm not rushing to get it done later. Give that a couple minutes to cook up. Be right back. All right. I like it so far. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So what we're gonna do is put these over in our warming spot. All right, these are off to the side. We're gonna get ready to put down our steak. So this is about, I don't know, 10 ounces or so of Angus ribeye. I've just cut just as thin as I can with my knife, just like that. And here we go. It already has been seasoned with Borsari seasoning. I'm sure you guys have seen that in a couple other of my videos. We're gonna put some whirl straight up on that. Let it take off. Get everybody mixed around. Man, that already smells amazing.
this isn't going to take very long, so we're going to cut all this heat already. Because the thinner you get this meat, the faster it'll cook. So we're just going to let that sit there just for a minute. And then we'll cheese it up. But first, Worcestershire, sure, 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 sauce. Worcestershire, sure, 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 sauce. Sure. Doesn't take much of that stuff. Fold that in. All right. First cheese we're gonna hit it with, blue cheese. Get yourself about a four-fingered handful. Gonna roll that in a little bit. There's a little bit of that moisture. And two slices of the famous craft, fall apart, melt like beautiness, American cheese. All right, now that's a, that's a good looking at. All right, so when we build, what we're gonna do is get both of our slices set up. We're gonna go on, just get it on there as best as you can. Go ahead and grab some onion. You don't want to stack this thing too, too terribly full. So that looks about good right there. And these leftover onions and maybe a little leftover steak, trust me, it's not going to go to waste. It'll get eaten in this house. Put that top on there. Bring it out here where I can work on it. And by work on it, I mean hit it with your press. All right, let's take this guy off. Give it a flip, boom. 10, 20 seconds, we'll take it off for plating. All right, there she is. All of our heat's off. Let's go plate up. There we go. Black and blue panini. Like press nice and firm. See what that looks like in there. And there you have it. So thanks for tuning in again after all this time of my absence. I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and leave me a like. I'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. Um, and as always, thanks for watching.